Hey, this is Jeff from Johnson's RV. Today I'm going to give you some tips on what to look for when you're going to change the anode rod in your hot water heater. Hey, we're at the hot water heater on your travel trailer. Um, the hot water heater has, some of them will have a plastic drain plug or they will have a magnesium anode rod. The anode rod or the drain plug is located in the bottom of the hot water heater. And when you pull your anode rod out, if it looks anything like this, it's time for a new one. Your new anode rod should look something like that. You usually get a life expectancy of about three to four years out of this, providing, depending on how harsh the water is that you're using. To install this anode rod into the hot water tank, take some white Teflon tape, a couple wraps around the threads so you got threads are covered in white Teflon and then straight into the drain hole in the bottom of the tank. Start it with your fingers. Once you get it started with your fingers you need an inch and a sixteenth socket to finish tighten it up. Don't over tighten the anode rod in case you pull the threads out of the bottom of the hot water tank and if you do that then the tank will leak. Okay so we went through the hot water tank, your anode rod, what to look for when it's good and what, how to tell when it's bad. Um, when it is bad, change it out. That anode rod prolongs the life of the hot water tank and they are very costly to replace. The anode rod at $20 every three years is a lot cheaper than an $800 tank. So just keep up on the maintenance of the hot water tank and it'll last you a very long time. Hopefully everybody enjoys your camping season.